just the whole train. We've been making all local stops, including fear, insanity, incarceration, and death. I'm coming to Queens, I'm coming to Brooklyn, I'm coming to Manhattan. I'm your worst nightmare. I got shit in my pants, I got fleas in my beard, I got so much syphilis and gonorrhea pouring out of my penis. You can turn it on and off like a faucet. Hey. Hey sister, how you doing? How you doing today? It's my train. You know, this is my subway train, it is. I'm the captain of this train. Where you going? Oh, you going to work? Oh, that's good, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with work. Get your ass on to work. See that strap you hanging from, baby? I sneezed all over that strap just this morning. I did. You too. Have a nice day. <laughs> you see this seat here? This is my seat. It's my favorite seat in the whole train, right in the middle so I can see both ends. I was sitting in this seat just yesterday. Oh, I was sitting in this seat just yesterday. I was. I got so nice and comfortable. I got so nice and comfortable I wet my pants. I felt the pee running down through my curly hair, down through my crusty underwears. I made a little puddle. I made a kind of soup out of myself. <laughs> I got all the ingredients right here stuck on me. Smear a dog food for breakfast. Some rat blood from some rat I stomp. Some Chinaman snot. They don't give you no respect. All that stuff falls together to make a kind of soup. I sat in that soup for a little while till it got all cold. Then I wasn't comfortable no more. So I got up. Sorry, sorry, right. it drives. It drives. All that's left was some molecules. Can't even see them. No, you can't see him because some guy came on the train. Frank. Frank, the businessman in his camel hair coat and his briefcase, came on the train and sat right down in him. Didn't bother him in the least. He was rushing home. Had to rush home to catch the evening news, see what's going on in the world. Can't see with his own eyes, gotta see it on TV set. Go home to his condominium, open the door, take off his Camel her coat, sat on the couch, and said, Honey, I'm home. Step suburb people say that's to let everyone know where they at. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm going out for five minutes. Honey, I'm back. Who gives a shit where he was? Frank sat down, ate his dinner. Yum. Got up and said, Oh, honey, that's the best roast duck I had all week. Oh, honey, guess what I did at work today? I fired 150 motherfuckers. My dick is 10 feet long. I'm feeling sexy. Let's fuck! So he grabbed his wife, who got the perfect body, because she on the Stairmaster three hours a day. He drug her in the living room, threw her on the couch, and they proceeded to have some really, really good sex. That's because they got this book called How to Have Really, Really Good Sex. <laughs> and they did it every which way, up and down, all around, one leg position, doggy style, handstand. And they was bouncing up and down on that couch. And the camel hair cut was bouncing up and down on that couch. And my molecule would be bouncing up and down right along with them. And then Frank decided to do something he hadn't done in a while. He got his wife's leg and he took him like this. And he got the tip of his tongue. And he was going to put that tongue right on his wife's vagina. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But just as he got the tip of his tongue, just as those tongue was about to touch those wet curly hairs, just as it was about to touch, swoop, one of my molecules went right down his throat. Didn't feel it. Didn't feel a thing. But he will. Because my shit's strong. And that shit's gonna bubble and boil and it's gonna grow and mutate deep inside of Frank. Gonna cause a change of Frank. Gonna change his lifestyle. Those molecules are gonna start spinning in Frank's brain. He's gonna start doing shit he ain't never done before. He's gonna get himself some bulletproof underwear. He's gonna start sterilizing his wife. He's gonna get his wife checked for HIV, his kids checked for HIV, his grandma checked for HIV. He's gonna 
put a radar on the roof. He's gonna put some extra alarms on his car. He's gonna put some extra locks on his door. He's not gonna let his kids out to play. He's not gonna check the mail. He's not gonna answer the phone. He's gonna get himself some dark sunglasses and never go out. And then he's gonna get a gun. And then he's gonna wait. And the first person who knocks on his door is gonna shoot him. Because Frank's been infected, you see. Frank's been infected with the disease. The disease of fear. And that fear is gonna eat him right up the asshole to the brain. And when it's done with Frank, it's gonna go to the next guy. To the next guy. To the next guy. Because we all infected, you see? We all on the same train. And I am the captain of this train. I am the captain of this train. So like it or not, fasten your seatbelts because me and my molecules are about to take you all on a nice long ride.